Hey girls, it's your girl Makaya Janae. I'm back again with another video. And if you'd like to see how to achieve this cute, cute, cute braided ponytail, I suggest that you girls stick around. <laughs> Don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understand it. So y'all, I'm just gonna add a little heat to my hair just because I want my braid to be easy to add in. Plus I want my little edges seen. Y'all, this is only my second time doing this hairstyle, so kind of nervous. Get my hair as straight as I can so that this can be an easy process. Y'all, I just washed my hair and blow dried it, so I sectioned it off. That's why I got these little braids in my hair right now. I have to, um, that's how I have to do it. I have to braid my hair a little section it out. In order to do it right, I guess you could say. And now, like I said, I'm not adding a lot of heat. I'm gonna just add enough so that my hair is flat and easy to braid in. That's just how I'm gonna do it though. You don't have to add heat in order to do this style. I'm sorry if I'll hit this chair. You don't have to add heat in order to do this style, but I'm adding heat because I need this process to go easy. Um, as easy as possible. I'm gonna finish straightening my hair and then I'll get back to y'all when it's time to do the actual ponytail. Okay, girl, so I got all the hair straightened out. Um, my hair needs a haircut so bad, like it's so uneven. Y'all see it, like it's long in the front, short in the back. <laughs> it just needs a haircut. So we're about to start the process. So what I do, and y'all personally, you can use a hot comb if you want to. Um, I have a hot comb, but I am so terrified to use a hot comb on myself. Like, I need to grow up, period. But I'm just, I'm so scared of a hot comb, y'all. Like, and I know I can't be the only girl who's scared of a hot comb because that job hurt. But I got these little things right here. They're the small ones compared to the big ones. Um, they're just for like edges, curling your edges and stuff. So I just use these to make like the front of my hair flat. Oh, that was hot. The front of my um, edges flat. I just use these to lay the little naps down, child. I don't got no naps for real, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So the supplies you will need for this style, you'll need a comb, um, some got to be glue, um, these for your edges, and then you'll need some braiding hair. I personally use this braiding hair express. I mean, you can use any braiding hair, but I just picked up the first one I saw. And then you'll need some hair ties. I know this is dramatic. I will not need this many, but I washed my hair, blow dried it, and strained it out. So I kind of needed some hair ties for that whole little process. But I'll start off first. I'm going to put the back down first. So I'm going to just part off the front. And it's going to go in a ponytail.
So I'm gonna part straight across the back so I have something straight. I'll put this like this till I get the back glued sewn down. Well, not sewn down. Lord have mercy. Till I get the back put up, I'm gonna leave my hair like this. Now, I did flat iron my hair to um get it like this. And I used this as well. So now I'm gonna plug in my blow dryer so I can spray it as I mold it down. Or you can use got to be and just put it down, um, mold it down with got to be. Either way does not matter, y'all. So I'm going to mold mine down with got to be glue. I'm going to make this, I'm going to put it in fast motion so y'all can just watch me do it. So what I do is I spray the got to be. I'm just gonna mold mine down with eco gel because I be forgetting how sticky I forget how sticky that um got to be is and I just washed my hair. I ain't got time for all that chain. You add some eco and you do it section by section, y'all. Section by section. Everybody got their own preference on how to do this. You can do it with um spritz. You can do it with spritz. You can do it with eco. You can do it with got to be. But if you do it with got to be, um, you're gonna add more heat. And that's another reason I did want to do the got to be, and I end up changing my mind. Cause I already added heat when I strained out my hair. And you wanna mold it down section by section so that it's flat. You don't want your ponytail whipping any kind of way. Okay. And I'm gonna take my scrunchie and I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. All right, now you're gonna do the top. So like I said, I'm gonna do the V part. You could do whatever part that you choose to your liking. I just said the V part got me in a chokehold, so. That's what I want to try today. If you'd also like to try the V part, you literally just part your hair in a V. Y'all, I used to, um, and then you're going to mold this down. I used to braid, so. Let 
when it comes to things like parts and stuff like that, Now I'm going to turn, I'm going to um, take my brush and brush out. I didn't put gel on the front, if you didn't notice. I'm going to brush out some hairs and those are going to be for my um, baby hairs. Now I have sickle cell anemia, so my edges tend to come out a lot from my medication. Um, so I have to work a little harder when it comes to covering my edges with my hair. Okay, so that side is molded. Now I'll mold the other side. mold the other side.
All right, and now we're gonna mold the middle. So the middle, I'm just gonna break it to sections. My arm hurts so bad, y'all. Okay, now I'm going to come it all back together. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look at it all in the bottom too, y'all. And the edges out. Try to see sure I left some edges out in the front. So out of the three pack of hair, I'm taking two. I'm just putting them together like this. So that my ponytail could be thick. Because I don't like no thin braid. Next, you're going to take the hair. Place it in the middle of your head like this. You're going to take the hair and your ponytail, your real hair, all together. Get a hair scrunchie. Okay, when you flip it, it's going to look like this. It's going to all be in a ponytail. Let me stand up so y'all can see. All right. I pull a little bit out so you can wrap it around your ponytail. But the rest of this, you finna get ready to braid. <sighs> you just gonna braid it. Uh oh.
gonna wrap it around. Do my edges so to do my edges y'all i literally just take uh this is an eyebrow thing i take the end of the spoolie on the eyebrow thing and i'm just gonna do my edges y'all um take your curlers of course And they'll curl the hair for you. What is hot? Okay, so I'm curl my edges. Y'all, these little things get hot. So be careful, okay? I take my spoolie. I got the V. And I get busy. I don't think I want to do edges in the front. I'm going to just put them back with the ponytail. Because that's going to aggravate me.
that is the completed look. That's it. So cute. Super cute. Super classy. Super clean. You know, simple, easy. But thank you for tuning in with me and thank you for watching me and helping me achieve this look. So cute. See y'all in the next one.